Uh, it's very tough for, for, for us, especially losing a player like Kaczynski, but I'm not saying that we're going to lose him. There's a lot of interest coming from um, a number of clubs, including some of the clubs in, in South Africa. But the Africans has, has a very um, strong connection with the player and also we've, we've done our, our homework as, leader, uh, as leaders of the club to make sure that the, the, the player stays in the club. And uh, the discussion is going very well. We will definitely come back and, and, and do the introduction when we finalize the thing. But as of now, nothing has been finalized, even though there's a lot of other clubs uh, interesting with the player and that they've sent. Um, so the discussion is there. I can say um, there's a big chance for him to stay, but, but we haven't finalized yet. Does he want to stay? Is he always tempted by some of these offers? Yeah, he has been, he has been in a position of uh, um, trying to, to you know, uh, put his position clearly that he wants to stay and you know I signed him two years ago from ASIC Mimosas and I told him about my project we want to take this team to the next level with him as well and he was the key member of, uh, of, of the program and, and the plan that I was putting in place so our discussion was the same and he was very keen to say that I need to be here in Young Africans, at least take this team to, to the project uh, levels that he wanted to. So yes, he wants to stay, but you know, uh, football is business nowadays, you can, you can be tempted to stay in that position, but financial uh, stability, financial approach can also change your mindset, so 60-40.